Devon Franklin and Megan Good might have called it quits more than a year ago, but there's still a lot of low-key drama going on between them. And at this point, it's starting to look like things might get messy between them. Devon might have been handing at how much he couldn't stand Megan in the last months of their marriage. And we might have just found out the real answer to their divorce. So was Devon low-key tired of Megan? Now, I know I'm not the only one, but we all thought that there was one celebrity couple that was going to live happily ever after. It was Megan Good and Devon Franklin because they look like in game. I mean, they had one of the cutest love stories I've ever heard. They met in 2011 while they were filming the movie Jump in the Broom. Now, it may not have been love at first sight for them, but they both hit it off. And Megan, for one, was so sure that Devin was going to be her husband that she started telling everyone that she was going to get married to him after day one. The wild thing about this is that Devin had not even started making moves on her at the time, but she knew in her heart of hearts that he was going to be her man. And she was right because they eventually got married in 2012 and they had a great marriage for about nine or 10 years. And in June 2021, they celebrated their first public wedding anniversary with Devon writing, do you know what today is? It's our anniversary made for you and me. And Megan said, this makes nine and eternity to go. You are the best decision I've made besides loving Jesus, LOL. I love you with everything inside of me in this life and in the next. Now this was super cute, but then in 2022, neither of them made anniversary posts online, which was certainly not normal for them. This was when people started to wonder if there was something going on in their marriage. And in August 2022, rumors started going around that Megan had stopped wearing her wedding ring. Now finally, in December 2022, they both announced that they were getting a divorce, saying, after much prayer and consideration, we have decided to go into our future separately, but forever connected. We celebrate almost a decade of marriage together and a love that is eternal. There is no one at fault. We believe this is the next best chapter in the evolution of our love. We are incredibly grateful for the life-changing years we've spent together as husband and wife. It was after their marriage ended that people started to notice just how many things were odd about their marriage and how it seemed like it was full of red flags. And that's the fact that they both never seemed like a great match when we take a critical look at things. Sure, they looked cute together and they made things work, but they were just too different. And this meant that they both had to sacrifice some things, change who they really were, and made a lot of compromises that eventually led to feelings of resentment on both sides. And eventually, Devon could barely stand Megan anymore, even though they still cared deeply about each other. Now, Devon might not have established a church of his own, but he was a preacher and deeply religious. And as such, there was an expectation from the church that he was going to end up with a perfect Christian woman. But instead, he ended up with Megan. Now, don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with Megan, because she was also a Christian when she met Devon. But even though she was a Christian, she was not as religious as he was. Well, at least not as religious as the church would have liked her to be. She smoked, drank, and as an actress, she sometimes had to do roles in movies that the conservative church felt were improper for a preacher's wife. And to Megan's credit, she did her best to be the type of partner that the church felt like Devon should have. She stopped smoking and she even went celibate before they got married because she was trying to get more spiritual and all that. She even became pickier with the types of roles that she took and rejected many of the roles that came her way. But that was still not good enough because she was never really accepted by the church no matter how hard she tried. At the end of the day, the bullying got so bad, she eventually had to stop going to church altogether because it was such a hostile environment for her. When Devon and I got married, I no longer was receiving criticism from just people in the world. I was receiving criticism from people who were Christians. It was almost kind of like brutal attacks I was getting um, on my character, um, on my husband, on different things. So I wasn't ready for that. She was constantly bullied for everything, even for things that she did outside the church, like the time when a woman tried to belittle her for what she wore to the grocery store. And the Lord let me come to push past the judgment. Hold up. Okay, because this is real. Because you have to make sure what you say and what you do match up. You understand? Okay, so we're going to cover up, right? We gonna cover Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. That ain't, that ain't, no. That is not what we're here for. She's not going to cover up. She's going to wear what she want to wear in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Now, this is wild to me, and people really need to start to learn to mind their own business and stop policing other women's bodies. Anywho, I think Devon did a great job standing up for Megan, but if we're being honest, there were bound to be times when he couldn't be there to stand up for her. And then what? In fact, according to sources, Devon had actually started to feel somehow about Megan towards the end of their marriage. He still cared a lot about her, but their incompatibility had gotten more and more obvious, and at the end of the day, he ended the marriage and filed for divorce. Now, for a couple of months, he appeared to regret his actions, like the time he posted a picture of himself crying and captioned it, I took this picture a few months ago, I'm not much of a crier, so in a moment of deep pain and peace, I took this picture. It captures best how I feel. He also went on Jada Pinkett Smith's Red Table Talk and opened about how he was dealing with the divorce. When you're on the other side yeah. of a marriage that did not work the way you thought, yeah. it, it's it changes everything. Mm. It's painful. You know, I just bought a piece of property, first piece of property, in the contract. Mm. Devon Franklin, an unmarried man. Wow. Mm. I might have well that. broken down because yeah. I never saw this Let's moment. It, when he said, I do, there was never a moment when we were thinking, I don't. don't. Mm. Yeah. So to live in the I don't, yeah, that's pain. You don't know what it's like until you do. But it looks like he has gotten over his doubts about the divorce because he has stopped talking about it, giving interviews about the topic and all that. In fact, he barely acknowledges Megan online. Now, I'm not saying that he hates her or he has beef, but I guess he just realized that there was no way that things could have ended differently between them, especially since he could barely even stand her toward the end. Megan, on the other hand, has been staying kind of loyal to Devon and defending their marriage against the trolls on social media. For example, someone commented, I believe maybe she didn't want kids and he did and probably other things that played into it. And they realized moving forward, they're not on the same page, but they still have love and respect for each other. I feel like she showed a bit of it at the end of Harlem, art imitating life, allegedly. And Megan replied, LOL, no, I want kids. Camille is a wonderful character that I enjoy playing. There's pieces of me in her, but that is is not one. I appreciate the allegedly LOL. Be blessed. Someone else said, put God first and they were cheating. It's the blind leading the blind out here. And Megan again replied, nobody cheated, LOL. How do you all come up with this stuff? This other person said, Jesus loves you, Megan. This world will pass and fame too. Come back to God and your hubby. And Megan clearly had some time on her hands because she replied, I would never leave God and also I didn't leave my husband. Be blessed. Now, this last statement makes me feel like maybe Megan was not 100% on board with the divorce because her saying that she didn't leave her husband kind of insinuates that she probably didn't have a choice in the divorce. Devon couldn't stand her. He filed for divorce and that was the end of their love story. Someone commented, nothing is wrong with him leaving her. She is still beautiful inside and out and he is still who he is. People are who they are. Life goes on. The minute people in any relationship realize they are individuals by themselves, relationships will be better. We have to understand our values and stop wanting validation about who we truly are from others. And another person said, being a pastor's wife is hard. She wasn't ready. I couldn't do it either. And this other person said, like I always say, just because you love another doesn't mean that you need to be together. Now their breakup is kind of sad, but at least they're not out there dragging each other and making things messy. But how do you think these guys should have dealt with their issues? And do you feel like divorce was the best option? option for them? Let me know what you think and then check out this next video.